<laughs> you, you, you. Without you, what would I do? Because uh, I always say I will have an ending on my TV and on my shows, and I'm old enough to sit in my summer cottage and fish and have a good time. But you people, you phoned in and you wrote in and you said, Get that all. Maybe we are used to each other. That is what it is, really. And therefore, I'm very happy about it too, because it's, uh, it's hard to say I'm retired and I do nothing. And when someone calls you back, that is a good feeling. Thank you for doing that. Therefore, I love you. <laughs> and uh, we love each other. You know, actually, there's always something to learn, it's never ending. And I think. You know, everyone goes on TV and paints a whole painting. And usually they say nothing. And we need more information. We, meet, we need more details. Maybe I could just show you more details and more, the, even if I don't finish a painting, as long as you get the knowledge of what we're doing with that paint. Why the devil we have a harder paint? See, my whole philosophy is wet and wet, you have to have a harder paint because a thinner paint will stick on a thicker paint. And if you work it together right, then it's a joy to be alive. So let me try something. First, I think we have a lot of winter weather around now, and I will paint a winter for you. Maybe we winterize the whole thing. <clears throat> So when I paint winter scenes, usually I always have, uh, I leave the yellows out and uh, the warm colors. I have a little bit of red, but a little crimson would uh, replace that red. Uh, but I have a lot of black and blue and white. See, a little touch of red with a red nose, a red cheeks, red, you know, frost makes you red. It rotates you a little bit. So that in my mind, I will, so I will paint a kind of a, uh, a mountain thing again. You can leave the mountain out if you don't want it because, uh, but I, I want to do it in order to show you how good that paint will work in a thick form. And I will use the knife a lot. So I will put magic white on the canvas. It needs that white no matter what we do. Too much magic white on the canvas will give you a big, big headache. <coughs> and not enough is not good either. So just put it on <coughs> just enough so that you have it wetted up, that's all. So maybe we do it like this. See? Rub it in, rub it in. Make sure not too much. Otherwise you, you will have a lot of problems. And I will show you wrong or wrong and right this time, because I, I, I'm very relaxed. I don't want to rush. And I want you to sit down and relax too. And let's learn rather than, you will be happy one day that you can say, my God, I never knew that will be happen. See, because you see it and it comes, it comes and it's, in half an hour everything is over. And then you say, I, I know nothing. <clears throat> So let's do details. So I put a little bit more magic white on. This you know you should not put here is a bit more magic white on that particular spot there. <coughs> now I will show you the the different the different of uh, the our paint is so thick and strong. See, look at that. That means there is a thinner paint on. And I go with a thicker paint on a thinner paint. That doesn't make sense. It will wash, it will smear, it will, will not do the job at all. And I will show you that it doesn't do the job. I just put a bit of blue and black, make it kind of a grayish, winterish color. Maybe a little bit alizarin crimson into that. You see, something like this. And watch how, what happened now. Because I have too much magic right on there. See? See what it does? Look. Look. I, I could I could not possibly get it on. Can you see it? But otherwise, when I say it, maybe you have forgotten the next time around. That's why I do it so you can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can hear it, and then everything is going good. So this is a warning. Don't do it like that. So I will get rid of all that 
magic uh, white. I wash my brush. I have just a little bit of magic white on. And make sure you have a dry brush. You see, all that wet and, and oil, it will not make you paint. You cannot work. So I will take it rather off. Now, that was a good lesson, I think. We showed it wrong, and we will show you how it is right. See, on my classes, usually, what I did in the beginning, it's hard to control when you have 20 or 25 people sitting there, and uh, you tell everyone, don't put too much on. And then someone always put too much on. And they start off, and then they ask, the students would ask me, could you help me? It takes a whole day to get it fixed. See, then why not doing it right? Keep it stingy and, and, and less of uh, what I usually did then. We put the magic right on very, very, very thin, like I see, like I do it right now here. And then I said, how about we have a coffee break? And then we all had a cup of coffee, and then we talked over what we want to paint. And that was time enough where the canvas is sucking up things, too, now, in, the, in that time. See? And then it is a thick paint. And then the thick paint on the thick paint, then this will be still, that thick paint will be thinner or, or more juicier than what's on the canvas. See? That is what the whole philosophy is. So I will make a kind of a winterish sky. I to go into those kind of colors and munch it into the brush. See? And you fire it in, whatever. And have it, have it detail-y. And see, there's so much paint in the brush, you can always fire in with more and, and lose it. Be like a band conductor. So give yourself a lot of clouds and a lot of movements there, you see? A lot of movements, mighty movements. See, no time, you guys. And leave all those openings. Leave all those openings. See, leave all those openings. Oh. See, I will not touch it. Always let it re relax. It gets harder and it gets more drier. See? And then if you want, you can have uh, uh, like ice water. You can, oh, I will have the sun coming in from the side. I will create a kind of uh, icy. I see water there. I see water. See, long lines gone down. Long lines gone down. See, then I have already color on. See, I conditioned the whole canvas to that one color. See? See how nice it starts. In the, in the water, it would be even better darker. And have those long lines gone down. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And dry. The brush has to be as dry as you can have it, as you, because it's got to be dry and hard. Otherwise, we cannot paint on that. And if you really watch it right, you will be happy one day, because you can create so many more things. And see those long lines, they, and I brush it in hard, nice, even here on the bottom long, make sure you have it nice. See the, now in order to make water, we will wait. See, those kind of movements, we do when we have the reflection and the whole thing from the back into that water. So, I will wash my brush. See, wash my brush. Make sure you have a dry brush. Without a dry brush, you are stuck. Now I hypnotize the whole thing. See, watch the, the see everything becomes nice and cloudy and nice and start moving. Very nice, nice touch. Very nice touch. Very nice touch. See here, I can bring it all together there on the bottom. 
See the difference between this and this? This is kind of a soft, a soft. And if you feel there are some bumps, they are a bit too hard, get rid of them. See, like this, like this. There we are. No, no, I will show you. We take a big block of paint, white, put it up there, maybe even more, like this. You might think what happened to that knife. I taped a little tape. Uh, uh, this is, is not so shiny. It's hard on TV if you have that knife uh, so bright and shiny because it uh, will reflect in your eyes. So we quieten that down, and I hope the tape will stand up there and will not fall off. See, look what I do. It's hard. It's a hard, solid paint. Watch this. Watch this movement you now. The black, Prussian blue, Elizabeth crimson, they have wonderful winter colors. See, and go over like this. See, go over like this. Bring it back again. And then you have it like marble. Maybe a bit darker. See, then I go a little bit more black into that. I want to have it more gray. It's a grayish day, the clouds and all that. So indicating of a gray day, that's good. See, you know, look at that, that paint. Depends on what part of the world you want to. I will show you this, the real big type of. See how easy it sticks now. Can you see? Oh, and, and it breaks. It gives you already all those details. Look at that. Beautiful. The all, all those same little details, uh, the movements, the marble movements, they are right in here. And so you catch uh, with one, one hit, you catch 10 flies. Look at that. Just look at how that paint, how you really push it down. And all those little details. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? Ah. That's nice to live. I hope you could just uh, learn enough. This, uh, there is, you can really make a good living with a good painting. I don't know if you can see the, the, the power of this mountain now. I will make it very, very powerful and have maybe a lot of depth there. Down, down, up, and down again. And then like cascades. Can you see the beautiful details? And keep that knife as flat as possible. You see, if you see my fingers, can you see my fingers? They're touching the canvas there. You see? I'm too flat. That's the only way to get it nice and make this a beautiful movement. Look at oh, oh God, it is so nice. Because of that paint, if we wouldn't have that, if we wouldn't have that paint, <sighs> it's a wonderful thing. It looks like all of a sudden the whole world is copying me. <laughs> so I must do something right, whatever it is. <clears throat> See, that's uh, just put a big mountain. Now we will say snow. I will use white. You see, the sun is, light is coming from this side, and a fire up there. Oh. Uh, look at all that break. Oh, God, look at that. It, it breaks it. It gives you. See? see, now, in this case, it is a bit thinner underneath than this paint. In this case, you thin it down. Oh, that was good. That was really good. You use a little bit magic right into that paint, a little touch. See that little touch thinner, but keep it hard. Keep it hard and solid, but it got to be a little touch thinner than the paint on. Now, in this case, you see, I couldn't get it on right. That was a good lesson. Now I can show you how easy it works when you thin it down. Uh, when I say thin it down, no, just one little bit thinner than that. It got to be, a, it still is a thick paint here. Can you see? 
it still it takes all its paint. But this time, it is attached thinner than it is on there. Now watch what happened now. See? Look at that. See that little bit of touch what I put in give me already all those movement now. Can you learn something from this idea? If it doesn't get on, then don't blame yourself. Blame that paint. That paint is what gives you the headache. See, I know it. So what I did, I thinned it down a little touch, use a bit of magic white into that, and you have it all lined up the white should be. I will put a bit more paint on. See that this paint is particularly thick. And today we have a kind of a frosty day, so when it is cold, then it is more thicker. But that's all right. That's all right. We can fight it. See, now I just have to, have to thin it down. I go into the magic right there, have maybe a knife full of magic right, and I thin that all down. It just a little touch. Otherwise, it would be too thick. See, look at that already. I can see all those beautiful details right here. See, no, I have no problem. Look at that. I think that's a good lesson this time. And it's always nice when you have it wrong and right. Because we always paint a painting and then we run away and you are sitting there all alone home and you say, well, what I do now? What now, Bronco? And I think that's a good idea that I can show you that. See, you know, this is just perfect. But otherwise, it just happened, it's a little bit thinner than, than that other paint, you see? Now I use a touch, we say from the, oh, I will put maybe here a little bit of a, white movement up there. So it's like a little mountain coming down on this side. See, you create that. You are next to God. We are all <coughs> God's children and God will always help you to create the wonderful things. See, in now I will have a touch of blue in that white. You see how I do? A little touch, but a little, little touch. That will be the shadow side. See that? Just a powerful, powerful mountain. I go on this side here. Ah, good, good. See? Just a little touch of blue. See, on this side, it gives you a bit of a frosty feeling. That little bit of blue is doing fantastic there. Look at that. And then give him this kind of a stroke there. See, this way, that way, and then that way, so you build it up. You can build it up nice. Wonderful. See what a powerful, powerful mountain you have built in there. And here the same, here the same. And now I will just show you with the knife, we grab the same paint and maybe we put it all in that mountain color and have a dark, and I will put a couple really power, that will be a powerful palette knife work. But maybe here, a mighty tree in there. See, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Now, before we go on, I have Lee, I left it all alone. Now I can easy give him those kind of strokes. See. Because it has nice, it's settled nice, and you still have long lines coming down. In order to make it a little bit more, more powerful, I would show this kind of white, this rim, 
in the water there too, you see, but very, very, very loose there. See, just let that all come in like this. And maybe here, this, we can, we can, see? That gives you all the reflection you need. Maybe here a little bit. Here a little bit. See, use your big brush and give them those little, look at that beautiful long lines going down. See, and then do it like this. And now it becomes nice water. And then we fire in maybe one or two big trees. And see how thick that paint, how thick that paint. Mm -hmm. I will have a little bit of a shoreline there. A little bit of a shoreline there. Something like this. And then we will, we will, will fill this in here. Maybe there. Maybe other tree here. See, that gives you really a little bit of an abstract feeling, but a painting too perfect is not too good. And you know, the funny part is as more you will paint, as more you let go, and you will see all the other artists or the older artists, they develop their own style or their own way of uh, painting. And that's good, and you should do the same thing. We should not get stuck with one, one, one ID. See, I show you something just new. You go in as far as you want. There. See, maybe here. You put a kind of a tree trunk in. See there. And fires right into the water there too. See, use your big brush, dry and push it right nice down like this. See, and then you make water out of that like this. See how nice that water came. And then you just put a little bit of a uh, uh, front in there, something like this. See? Something like this. There. See? And then you just stretch this out here, like this. Add, add the mountain. Fill it nicely in, see? And then you, 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 you come to a happy, happy ending. You can, oh, here, we will put a kind of a this one in, and maybe this one, and this one, and this one in, see? And then here, this one in. See, try to think about ice float, or whatever ice uh, um, kind of a, Ice floating on the water, and that will give you a nice, happy beginning of a nice painting. See, look, I, and make it bigger here, like perspective. Can you see smaller there? Start off a bit smaller there. See? Smaller there, and get bigger, bigger. Bigger, 
oh, fires in like that. And it becomes a very attractive little painting. And this is a good bit, a little bit on the abstract side, but that's what we wanted. That's what we really wanted to show this time. So maybe here a little bit, and here a little bit, and here a little bit. There you are. See? Here maybe I put a little bit of white in there. So this gives a bit of a highlight. See? See? Here maybe two. Maybe like that. And then here in between, you cut the long lines a bit down. You see, don't show the whole long line. See, this, you see when I did it, I plowed through the whole thing. So I need to have some branches in front of it, like this, maybe one like this, and, and maybe here, and show the trunk in between. See, and then you, 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 give them a little scratch there, a little scratch there, and maybe here one, here one, and here one. See, and it gives you a happy little painting. Now you use your big brush. Before we have a happy ending, do it like this. Just give them, pull the long lines. See what I do now? Those lines, they become long, see? By pulling them, see? Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Gee, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it too? Something different. And when I go on now, I will paint roughly in the same direction because I do something what I didn't do before. Then maybe we are right. And you will enjoy it. And I love you. And we go on again. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye.